What is going on everyone and welcome back to the Stock Trends channel. So in today's video, we're talking about ticker symbol ACB Aurora Cannabis. Now before we jump in, if you would not mind jumping down, hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing to the channel, turning on those notifications so you don't miss more videos. Simple, short, to the point, up to videos just like this. I highly appreciate it if you would do so. And also you can grab four free stocks with Weeble. Link is in the pinned comment and description box down below. That's a platform that we are using right now. So taking a look here, ACB, what do we have going on? Well, I think one of the first things that we can point out is we can point out a recent trend. So after we had the initial pop, and this was once we kind of got confirmation that it looks like Biden as of right now will be the next president. That's when we got this first initial pop and we popped from $3.71 all the way up to 14, nearly $15. I think in pre-market hours we hit a little bit higher, but look at that amazing run. And then we came right back down almost just as fast, but we did develop a higher support, which came in just around that $6.50 or, or so level, uh, up around maybe even $7, we can say. So there's your kind of support range. And then after that, boom, the next extension to the upside. Now we even have some more news to talk about. Now we have been talking about the Moore Act, which really kind of went through the House and we saw it pass in the House. It got the amount of votes needed, but the problem is House passed the vote, but next step is the Senate. And that is most likely not going to happen based on the current structure of Democrats, to Republicans. And we know Republicans didn't seem too favorable of this vote in the House. However, it didn't matter because there were plenty more Democrats to take the vote home. So while this is a big step and many traders and investors seeing this as a pretty big step for a lot of these cannabis related stocks, at the end of the day, is it really going to make it to the final stages? Doesn't look likely as of right now, but it's potentially you know indicative of what is likely to come with a Biden administration. So we'll have to see how things play out in the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, um, as that definitely will be a pretty significant move. But taking a look at what we have right here. So if we can just draw in a general trend line. So we've been respecting this trend. So even putting in higher lows, looking at a nice stair stepping pattern on up. And then we got tough. It got tough up around this $12 area. We hit a couple times. We just couldn't break above 12 and really sustain that move. And so it looks like we may be getting ready to crack this trend line. We'll see what happens on Monday and we'll see what happens this week. But it does look like ACB Aurora Cannabis is looking like it wants to come back on down and we'll see what happens. Ultimately, if it does come on down, we do have some support here. Pretty strong support around that $7 level. If it does come down, that'll be a pretty decent spot to pick up some. Also, we have this 50 SMA, this blue line right here. That's also a very strong area of support many times when you're above that line and you come back to the downside. We held up around this 200 SMA. We'll see if that holds up first, which puts us right around that 975. And if we do come down further, this 50 SMA, by the time we come down, may line up very, very well with that prior $7 support. So to be honest, for those who may be in higher, you know, at the end of the day, a $7 buy range could be a good area to be averaging down. Or for those who are looking to take entries, $7 or so as we come back and on down and see what happens to ACB, just technically speaking, that could be a pretty big step. Now, ultimately, right, at the end of the day, if the company has their own news, if we see some more developments here in the Senate or with, with, with the vote that's going on, that, that could ultimately drive things forward. However, it looks as if until Biden steps in, and that's officially done and everything is kind of ironed out, it looks like they may be taking a little bit of a breather, these cannabis-related stocks, at least for the near term. So we'll see what happens, and hopefully for those who are in it, it does not drop too much. But if you guys are in it, what are your thoughts? I would love to hear them in the comments section down below. We'll see what happens this next week. We seem to have a pretty positive week this past week, but of course, there's a lot of other drivers here at play. It's something to always be staying tuned to the news and even politics as much as I hate to say it. Politics are a pretty big driver for at least a lot of laws, right, that are going to be related uh, to a lot of these cannabis-related stocks and to cannabis-related laws, at least in the U.S. So hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos with just like this, and grab your four free stocks. This platform we're using is Weeble. You can get four free stocks and also get access to NASDAQ Total View Level 2, which is the Level 2 quotes right here on mobile and on the desktop version, which is what we're using right now. That's also free for three months once you sign up uh, and get your account all situated. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.